Hi all, welcome to OIT speaking. Today we can discuss an OIT role play. Here the setting is a hospital ward. Your patient is admitted two days ago and was diagnosed with acute pyelonephritis, kidney infl inflammation due to bacterial infection. She has fever and has no able to eat or drink because of persistent nausea. She is on IV therapy now and is upset insisting on discharge from the hospital but the doctor feels she is not fit for discharge at present. Task find out the reason of discharge. Explain about the nature of illness and possible risk body rejecting oral medication. Emphasize the importance of staying in the hospital. Risk of getting discharged against medical advice. Concern risk of blood poisoning. Offer to resolve the issue by shifting to another special ward. From this background information, we understand that you are talking to an admitted patient who has been diagnosed with kidney infection and is on IV medication, but the patient is insisting to get discharged. You are a nurse, so you need to find out the reason of discharge. And then we need to make the patient comfort by offering solution for his reason. Along that, it's really important to explain the complication and the risk involved in getting discharged against the medical advice. Keep all these scenarios in your mind. Now we can start our role play. Here, the setting is a hospital ward, so we need to ask the name of patient during our preparation time. We can ask, how may I address you during our conversation? Let's assume the name is Mr. John. Okay, we can start our conversation by saying, Good morning, Mr. John. Probably the patient may greet you. Then we can continue by saying, My name is Sarah. I am one of the registered nurses working in this ward. I will be your attending nurse today. Then you can ask, For my confirmation, could you please tell me your name, please? Then patient will tell his name. Here the name is Mr. John. Then we can ask like questions like, Mr. John, how are you feeling today? Probably the patient may express his concerns like, Sister, I'm not comfortable here, so I won't discharge from this hospital. At that time, as per our first task, we need to ask about the exact reason of his discomfort. Also, we need to apologize for the discomfort. So we can say like, Mr. John, I am really sorry for the inconvenience you have experienced. Could you please describe more about your discomfort? Or you can tell in another way like, May I know the exact reason why you want to get discharged? May I know the exact reason why you want to get discharged? Then probably as per the interlocutor's card, he may tell you like, Sister, all the patients around me are confused. I couldn't sleep because of this noisy environment. At that time, we need to apologize. We can say like, I really apologize for the bad experience that you have had. I understand that how difficult it must be for you. However, it's mandatory to adhere doctor's advice. You know, Mr. John, the doctor feels you are not fit for discharge at present. Probably at that time the patient may agree with you. He may tell like, Sister, I am better now so I need discharge. Then we need to explain about the need for hospital stay and also you can tell uh, about the possible risk. So you can say like, Mr. John, I completely understand your situation. You know, Mr. John, you have not recovered completely and... Going home at this stage will aggravate your condition. This will lead to further complications. In order to avoid that situation, it's better to stay in the hospital. Is that okay? Again, he may argue with you and he may tell like you, tell like, Sister, I will continue the treatment at home. If needed, I will come back. At that situation, we can reply like, Mr. John, I can understand your intense feeling to leave the hospital and go home. But presently, you have an infection in your kidneys which requires medical attention. Please understand that your condition is not stable and your infection is quite severe. That's why we are giving you medication intravenously. 
You know, Mr. John, it's really important to take these painkillers and antibiotic intravenously as your body is not tolerating food and fluids at the moment. Are you following me? Then probably he may tell you like, Sister, it's because of my nausea, I'll, but I will be able to take medications with water by mouth. Then we can reply like, completely understand how keen you are to go home. Let me tell you that oral medication therapy can be given to patients who are able to eat or drink orally. In your case, because of your vomiting sensation, you won't be able to eat or drink. So your body reject oral medication. If you go home and your condition exacerbates, you would require prompt medical attention which is possible if you stay in the hospital only. Do you understand what I am saying? Again, as per the interlocutor's card, he won't agree with you. At that time, as per our third task, at last we can explain about the risk of getting discharged against medical advice. So you can say like, Mr. John, I appreciate what you are saying. It's your right to get discharged with an informed understanding of risk involved in this decision. Can I explain about the risk? Then probably he may allow you to explain the risk. So you can say like, Thank you Mr. John for allowing me to explain the risk. You know Mr. John, if you don't get adequate treatment at home, you may have detrimental effects on your health. For example, it may lead to permanent damage to your kidneys or kidney failure. In some cases, it may result in blood poisoning which is a life-threatening condition. Is that clear? That time patient may agree with you and he may tell like, Sister, this is just because of environment around me. If you can provide a good environment, it will be really helpful for me. At that time, as per our last task, we can say like, Okay, Mr. John, I realize that it's really distressing, especially when you are sick. Is that okay if I shift you to a different ward which is not noisy? Then probably he may agree with you and then we can wind up our conversation by saying, I appreciate your decision. Mr. John, being a health professional, we are not supposed to send you back to your home until you get a complete recovery. Now I will discuss with my supervisor and will do the arrangements for shifting you to a quieter ward or room so that your sleep is not disturbed and you get proper rest. Do you have any other concerns? If he has no other concerns, we can say like, I hope I have cleared all your concerns. If you need any more help, just press the buzzer. Thank you for listening my words. I will be back soon. Thank you.